One of the most essential tools that I use is a fire kit. Uh, you know, you need to have the ability to start fires. It's an essential element. It's something that man has used from the beginning. It cooks your food, boils your water, gives you light, gives you heat, builds morale, and can keep predators at bay. And so having a good fire kit is something that I find essential, uh, whether it's in my go bags, bug out bags, in my vehicle, uh, I like to have the ability to start fire. Plus, when I'm, we're having a bonfire or a barbecue, you can be the rock star because you can start the fire when others can't because you have the tools you need. And I've been using these, whether it's fire steels, lighters. Of course, big lighters are just excellent. Uh, they're easy to use, they're convenient. And it's one of those things that, you know, I find myself using the most. But if you're like me, there have been times where the fuel's leaked out or it's just not working, the conditions are not good. So having other redundant ways to create fire is very important. Plus having some fire tinder. Trying to start a fire with just natural elements, especially on a wet or soggy day, is difficult at best. Now, I'm a big fan of Exotac fire starters. Uh, they're a little more expensive, but they are top quality. They're all made right here in the USA. I've recently got this little tool roll I mean, this thing is so compact, so neat, and you guys know I'm a big fan of tool rolls. And so we're going to take a look at my new fire kit in the Exotac bag. Now, not all the products in here are Exotac. There's a lot of other things. But guys, having a place that all your fire tools are put where you can get to it. And what I love about this one is it's that orange color and it does have the gray, which makes it nice. But I know where that bag is. If I'm reaching down in my pack, I've got it handy. Now again, guys, I've been using these Maxpedition pouches for a long time, and uh, I really love Maxpedition stuff. You guys have seen a number of reviews, and I still love this. I'm going to keep it. Uh, the new Exotac tool roll is just really unique. I'm a big fan of tool rolls, and I've been a big fan of Exotac for a long time. I mean, they sent me this little tool roll. They'll send me different fire starters, especially new releases. Uh, so just recently, they got in touch with me and said, hey, you know, we want to give your viewers a discount. You suits 20 get a 20% discount on anything on the Exotac website. And that is really cool. And in full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, but it's just what they offered. But the discount's great. All right, guys, here's my standard fire kit. Small little Maxpedition pouch, but you can use whatever. I just love this size. And I've got a couple of these that I use. I've got this little mesh netting. I don't really put anything there. But here you can see I just have a number of items uh, that, you know, really are for redundancy. Uh, I've got my lighter, Bic lighter. I mean, this is the stand-in. And let me show you. Look here. <laughs> this Bic lighter is not working. I don't even think it has any fuel in it. And so this is one. Actually, this kit was kind of set back. I didn't know where it was. But this is a perfect example that you might only have a Bic lighter, but if that's all you got, you know, that's all you got. Vaseline cotton balls, really easy. Just pull it apart. Make sure you get those fibers opened up. Get your lighter to it. I mean, it just does really well. And of course, again, your lighter is your fastest and most convenient way. But as we've seen, these can go out. This is one that actually was a prototype. They never actually put it together. But it is a fire steel, and you do have your striker here. So, you know, it just really works. And we're going to kind of go through, and I'm going to demonstrate some of the different ways to create fire. Uh, but you can see that it, it has that and protects it. And then on this side, you can put little tender tabs, you know, and things like that. And guys, I'm telling you, you need to make sure that you do have some kind of fire tender. Because fire tender, it's really difficult to get dry fire tender or the right fire tender. So here we've got our striker. Even though it's a short rod, you're still getting a lot of spark. Now this is a small little lighter. These small lighters require lighter fluid. And I really don't trust these as far as long term. But if I just want to take it just for the cool factor, uh, you know, you, can, you just make sure that you do need to fill it. Now here the little cylinder comes out. And we just take and fill up the cotton that's inside. And you want to get it till it's saturated, but you really don't want it to overflow. Now you put your cylinder back on inside the capsule. Uh, you may have some lighter fluid that's on the outside, and you want to be careful because it can burn. But here, you can, it flames right up. But this is a nice option, but again, this is one that you've got to kind of keep maintained. 
here I have a standard ferro rod, and this is one of the fire rods from Exotac. Uh, these are great little fire rods. And these little compartments, uh, you can keep your tender tabs in the back. They are sealed, so it keeps it dry. And then also, these little uh, paracord loops are actually fire cord, so you can use this as a tender. And then, of course, you have your fire steel itself. Uh, one of the things about Exotac is that you can replace these. And so, you know, all you need to do is go back and pick up one of these or a couple of these, and you've got to, you know, you can keep the top part, which honestly is really high quality. Uh, they do a great job on these, and these are made in the U.S. Now, you have this black coating on your ferrocium rod, and so you want to make sure you scrape that off, and it allows for better contact. You take and pull the ferrocium rod towards you. Okay, we've already got a flame. So it doesn't take a lot with the Vaseline and cotton balls. As you can see, this puts out a lot of spark. One thing about the ferrocium rod as well is sometimes with stainless steel, unless it has high carbon, it won't ignite the spark. And also you have your small little strikers. This is a ferrocium rod as well. And then you have a small little striker that's actually attached. This doesn't really have a compartment for your tender, uh, and it's really minimal. But again, it's got a seal. You can just bring that. This is your striker. And so this really is redundant with your standard fire steel. Now with the nano striker, pull the fair seam rod out, take your striker. It is a small striker, and but it still gives you plenty to grab hold of that little tab. And again, we need to make sure that we get rid of some of that black. You can see the old cotton balls still burning in my little pit there. Take it. You can see you're getting good spark, even with this little short rod. So this makes a really compact option. And again, you can replace those rods. And the old tried and true magnesium bar with a ferrocium rod right here. And uh, these are great. They've been around for a long time, but these really work. Now when it comes to the magnesium bar, we're going to just scrape off some magnesium. Again, taking the spine and not the blade. Kind of put that together in a spot. Then take your striker that's on the bar. There we go. You can see it lights up really hot. <laughs> magnesium really burns hot. But obviously you want to get a little more magnesium than just this little bit. But you've got a large bar here. Now I always keep some sort of knife um, in my kit. I like to have the knife handy. Uh, you can use that for a lot of different things, but you can also use this as a striker if you need to. You can use this to process your tinder. And so to me, having a knife is a critical part of your fire kit. And these little sleeves, they're great because they can organize everything and put it together. Now there are two sleeves in the back and I just have some uh, Vaseline and cotton balls here. This is great fire tinder. Uh, you just take and mix the Vaseline with the cotton balls. It can be a little messy. And because of that, a lot of times I like to use the tinder tabs or I like to have some. But this is a cheap, easy way to make a lot of fire tinder. And guys, I'm telling you, that Vaseline and cotton balls, it burns really well. And for a long period of time. Down the hatch. Here I have a tea light candle. Uh, tea light candles are great because they burn for a while, but they can also provide you some light. And if you're not careful, like this one looks like it got melted some, uh, and uh, you know everything's down. So this is one thing though that I wanted to bring out and why I brought this kit out, is because I want to make sure guys that you keep up with maintaining your gear. A lot of times you'll put stuff together and you'll put it back somewhere and this is what happens. Uh, this is not my current fire kit even though I had it set aside. I've got a separate one in my bag and I just maintain it, you know, every month or so, just go through and look, especially my go bag. This is fire tender as well. It's impregnated with wax or some kind of propellant. This stuff is great. I mean, it goes forever and ever and it cuts and splits really easily. 
And so this stuff is just great. I've used this a num for a number of years and I have some to set back. You can also use fatwood. Fatwood works really good and you can actually harvest that from trees, uh, pine trees. And so that's another way to be able to do it. But there are some alternative methods out there or some alternative sources. Now I really like this little impregnated wood, but again, uh, fat wood would work just as well. What I like about this though, it's very easy to split. So you can just kind of bring this down, make it into really small, fine pieces. So this really allows you to get that fire started easier. These are a lot more flammable when they're small and short, or you can even feather them. Take the fair sim rod, there we go. It lights up really quick, and because it's wood, it burns longer. And then as it gets started, you can add other pieces to it. And that's pretty much all I have in this fire kit. And obviously, I need to go ahead and take this and maintain it. Now this is the ExoTac tool roll. Uh, it runs $24.95, but it is really high quality. I really like this. Now, you have a little leather strap and so we're going to go ahead, and this is adjustable, so you don't have to fill this completely up. And then we're going to open it up. Then we have hook and loop or Velcro all the way around it. So I can open this up. Then I have these two side wings. And this really secures these pouches. Now this is what I love about tool rolls. You can roll this out, and you have everything right there at your fingertips. I mean, it is just a great way to do things, and it's one of the reasons why I love them. Uh, but here we have mesh netting all the way at the back, and then we're going to open this up. It also works as a flap to protect this, and then we have elastic bands in the back. And so we're going to kind of go through, and I'm going to show you some of the things that we have. Uh, first off, we have some lifeboat matches, and we have a striker. Make sure that you have some way to be able to strike it, uh, but these things are waterproof. In fact, you can dip them in water and pull them out. Now with the lifeboat matches, these are my favorites. And you can take and just strike it. It lights up really well. Watch this. I'm going to put it in the water. Bring it back up. And it lights again. I mean, this is phenomenal. Once it gets down to that material, it'll just start to burn out. But it still burns the wood continually. So, again, guys, this is the deal when it comes to matches. Now, here I just have a couple of fire cord pulls. Uh, you can put this on your jacket, uh, but you can have these extra in case you have some kind of issue. And it just allows you to be able to have that fire cord. Again, a little bit of redundancy. And then here's an orange one. Now, this is a much better option than the tea light candle. This is a four hour nano candle. Again, this is Exotac, but this isn't an Exotac commercial. I just love their stuff. But here you see, you've got a small little beeswax candle. It'll burn for a long time. Uh, but one of the big things about having a candle, it makes lighting a fire in the rain or in the wet a lot easier because this burns longer. And I've done a video on how to start a fire in the rain. In fact, it was raining, it had been raining for a couple of days. And uh, guys, it's not impossible. In fact, it's a lot more simple than you think. And then also we have some tender tabs here. This is what the U.S. military uses, and you just take and pull these out, and uh, these are just great. They're really flammable, and you can, you can actually use part of this. You don't have to use the whole tab, but we have four in here, and a lot of times I'll have more. Now, the tender tabs have really become a favorite of mine. Uh, they're not as messy as the Vaseline and cotton balls, and they're fairly reasonable. But you can puff this out <laughs> and really get a flame going. You can actually cut this in half if you don't want to waste the whole piece because it does generate quite a bit of fire. Here we're going to use the ferrocium rod. There you go, just one strike did it. But it lights up really well. It burns a long time. Now this is something a little different. It is just from Exotac. I threw it in here, but this is one of the rip spools. Uh, this is an excellent tool for repair. And so you have duct tape that's all the way around. There's a really small cord or rod in the middle. So this is quite a bit of duct tape. And then here we have Kevlar thread all the way through here. And then when we open this up, which these things are just really well done, we have a sail needle. And so I can pull this out. I can take my thread, my Kevlar thread, and I can just go ahead and make repairs that if I need to. And then the sharp tip goes inside, so that way I don't have to worry about sticking myself, which is a good possibility. Here we can just seal this up. It's a great little repair kit. And uh, guys, if you're out in the outdoors and something breaks, this is a great way to fix it. 
Next, we're gonna go to the other side. Uh, again, I do have a knife in my kit, and I always keep a knife, just some kind of utility knife. It doesn't have to be anything major. I mean, this is a little Smith & Wesson, and uh, has the Warncliffe blade to it. I just really like this knife for some reason, and I've been carrying it. Uh, and then I have a flashlight. And I like to have light wherever I'm at because, you know, you may be at night trying to start a fire. It's great to have it. You should have one in your pocket. But uh, this is one of the old O-lights. This is the S10R Baton. Uh, I've had this thing for years, and it just works. And so I like to have some kind of light. And typically, I'd have, probably have a couple extra batteries in here as well. Next, I have one of the Exotac Match Cap XLs. Uh, this is a, just a cylinder, it's aluminum, has a striker on the bottom, and obviously from the name, we have matches. And you do have a little shield here to be able to help protect when you're lighting that match. Uh, and these are the waterproof matches. I'm just a big fan of these. I mean, I have tested out matches, and guys, the waterproof lifeboat matches are the best. And you have a seal around here so it keeps it locked in. Uh, but it's large enough to where I can grab it even if it's really cold. I can get a hold of it and open it up and then take my hand here. Uh, you can put a lanyard on this. When it comes to the match cap, you've got a striker on the bottom. And then we also have a striker back here on this little shield. But guys, I mean, it doesn't take much to light these and this little shield works great. Matches, lighter, I like to have those things. Um, again, you want redundancy. Uh, here we have some Vaseline and cotton balls. You're going to see that a lot in my fire kits, but it's not the only tender as I've shown. Uh, here we have another one of those strikers, and we have our striker here, and then we can open this up for a fair seam rod. And again, these are replaceable. And I have my fire cord here on the end, so I have tender as well. Now next I have a lighter, but it's in one of the Exotec fire sleeves. And so you pull that off. You can set your standard big lighter into this rubberized coating. Uh, and it's or silicone really and you can pull this out we don't need to but take it light it it's going to help to just protect it and then we can take this part here if we need to keep that fire going this will actually fit over and create the fuel so you can hold it down here because if you're holding a flame for a long time it really starts to burn your hand so that way i can take it and put this over it and just create that fire and then pull it back uh, this will seal your lighter so it helps to keep from happening what happened to my original lighter because there's a lot of corrosion that built up around that lighter and this also protects the uh, fuel from leaking out which is probably one of the biggest things if this thing gets depressed it is dumping out fuel so this is a great way to be able to protect this keep it in one place now last but not least and this is a big one and i typically don't have it in here but i got this from exotac recently and this is the fire rod xl this thing is huge uh, in fact they're sold out on the exotac website last time i checked this gives you a lot of fire starting capability and guys you know that's one thing about the fire steel is that you can continue to use this with thousands of strikes whereas your lighters and your matches sooner or later you're going to run out but with this, I mean, it's going to be a long-term solution to fire creating. So, uh, and then these are removable, and you can buy another one and put it right into here. So, it's a really thick rod. It's going to give you, again, a lot of strikes. Now, one thing cool about this in particular, uh, I've had the fire rods for a long time, and I really like them. They're in all my kits. This has the duct tape around it as well, and then... Here we have a large compartment that we can put our tender tabs. And so this to me is a really cool option. I mean, it gives you a large capability too. I can grip here and as I'm using my striker or my knife and the, you always use the spine, don't ever use the sharp point, but this makes it really nice to be able to have a good solid grip and you can pull that and you can create a good fire. We do have a fire cord, so that does give us some more tender. Now that really is kind of large for this particular pack but I had just gotten it in and I wanted to make sure that it was in this pack when you're done you can just roll this thing up and you can t get it as tight as you want and then when you pull this velcro over it just seals it and then you bring over the lid a really secure way to keep this together now typically with tool rolls I like them because they do they just open up and you can see everything you guys know I've been doing a lot of roaring fire tool rolls uh, they're just great for tools 
and you know you can see everything whether you make a fire kit or you make some kind of survival kit or you just use it for what it's intended for the tools but honestly because of the way this pack is set up it's really easy to be able to get to so you know that's one thing everything is just laid out so i know where it is and so the advantages typically of a tool roll over some others is not as great if you're using a small pouch like this but one of the things i love about this is i can slip it into my pack it's got that orange blaze color and so it's easy to find and i can fit more items in here than i can in this small little pouch but i can up this pouch if i want it so guys the big thing is make sure that you have some kind of fire kit it's just one of those things that you just need i mean it's one of those survival elements that you're going to find yourself using over and over especially in a critical situation so guys again you get a 20 percent discount using suits 20 the link down below in the description and we really appreciate exotac for doing that so guys again i highly recommend having some kind of fire kit we've done some videos previously about fire kits it is one of the essential tools i feel that really helps you to get organized and fire is just that important you need to have these tools available because when you need fire you need fire there's nothing to substitute it and so check out the exotac or if you just want to put together a small little kit with a, a small pouch it works fine but just thought i'd show you a couple of different things of what i use on an everyday basis be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic There are times where the fuel light, but there are times where the fuel leaks. Again. And then here I, and then here I have a key teeth. Fire! 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 <laughs> fire! <laughs> it's just got a good feel to it. it almost feels like a football. <laughs> Once it gets going, well, that sucks. So they got in touch with me, and they're offering a twenty percent discount to suit. Okay, for what? What is it? What is it? Good, it's right side up. <laughs>